Alright guys, in this video I will show you how to install FSR4 XSS frame generation into Where Wins Meet. This is a free game on Steam. I don't know how they give it for free. The installation process is a bit complicated, so stick around and don't skip the video. Watch the whole thing, otherwise you will have a lot of problems. Let's dive in. First, download this file using the link in the video description. Open a Steam, go to the library and select the game. For this to work properly, you have to launch the game first and play for about 10 to 15 seconds. Make sure to do this because when you open the game for the first time, it will download some files and it can crash off the scaler. Make sure to run the game in DirectX 12 mode. If you haven't, go to properties and in the general section, make sure it's set to DirectX 12. Otherwise, the frame generation will not work. Then click on this cogwheel and go to manage and select browse local files. Then go to engine, binaries, win64r. The first thing you want to do is remove the AMD Fidelity FX folder. Move it out of the game folder. Then open the downloaded file and extract everything into the game folder. Then search for the setup underscore windows dot bat file. Open it. Select the second option winmm.dll. Enter the number for your GPU and hit enter again. Then open the optiscaler.ini file. Set the FG input value to DLSS and the output value to XEFG. Save the file and exit. Now you can open the game. But we are not done yet. I will see you once we are in game. Go to the in game settings. Make sure to uncap the FPS limit. In super resolution section, you will see that DLSS is now enabled. So turn on DLSS and DLSS frame generation. Press the insert key on your keyboard to bring up the OptiScaler menu. You have to set everything here before restarting the game. I'm going to enable the FPS overlay to show you the FPS boost I get with XSS frame generation. But you don't have to do this. You can use MSI Afterburn if you want. To enable FSR4, choose FSR3X from the drop down menu and click Change Upscaler. The first time you do this, it will take some time. Be patient, it's not stuck. Then to turn on XSS frame generation, tick the active option. You should see a good FPS bump. And don't worry about this error. Play the game for a bit, then adjust settings again if needed. Make all your changes right now, because after the next step, you won't be able to change anything without repeating this entire process. Set your sharpness and everything else you need, then click on the save INI button to save the changes. If you get screen tearing, turn on VSync. You will notice a bit of input lag, but the game will be smooth. This next part is crucial. If you don't do this, XSS frame generation will not work when you open the game next time. This is a mod side issue that will be fixed in the future. Open the game folder again. And look for optiscaler.ini file. In there, search for high res MV. It will be set to true, change it to false and save the file. Then right click optiscaler.ini, select read only, apply and ok. 
Now you can open the game and play normally. If you don't do this, XEFG will break every time you restart the game. To uninstall the mod, search for removeoptiscaler.bat file. Open it and follow the instructions. Then move the removed folder back and you are done. If the mod developer fixes the OptiScaler issue with this game, I will post a new link in the video description or in a pinned comment. That's it for this video. Until next time, adios amigos. to get your storybook now, huh? Oh, what's up?